Pradesh is asking, Armin, for eradicating casteism, is eradicating Hinduism necessary and sufficient or just necessary? Asking based on your comment. Not sure what comment, but this is a oh, big question. Oh, I think question. My, face, my Facebook comment. I think I recently posted on Facebook and YouTube. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you yeah, know that casteism isn't exclusive to South Asia, right? I didn't say that, though. Oh, okay. I didn't just say checking. it's exclusive. But I said I there's nothing more. I recently learned that there was a caste system right. in West Africa. Yes. There's a caste system in Japanese culture, Korean culture. It's a, it's a very common. It's, it's, yeah, but it's very more, much more pronounced in Hinduism. And it's a fundamental part of Hinduism. You know, a lot of times people say like, oh, it's not just Hinduism. Well, when did I say it's just Hinduism? So what I did say, what I actually said is there's nothing more Hindu than the caste system. That's what I said, right? Um, so so what the question Rajesh is asking for, eradicating casteism, is eradicating Hinduism necessary and sufficient? Well, here's the thing. Um, is it necessary and sufficient? He, Hinduism should be eradicated even if it didn't have caste, casteism right um as a religion not maybe as a mythology or historical literature um, or fun fun traditions then that's fine if you want to keep it the same way that we keep our knowledge of mayan history and culture and celebrate that without actually believing in human sacrifice or without actually believing in the mayan gods if you want to treat religions like that, that's fine. It's just as mythology and fun traditions. There's nothing harm in that. But as a religion, as a belief system, Hinduism should be eradicated, even without the caste, without the caste system, without the casteism, right? Because it's just false, right? Um, like, I don't know, palm reading. I was, I think, palm reading as something that a belief should be eradicated just because it's false. But so let alone. Hinduism, with all the horrible teachings that it has. But go on, what are you saying? But to eradicate casteism, do you think mm. it's necessary to eradicate Hinduism? Um, no, I mean, it's not. Okay, so it is necessary to eradicate Hinduism, but it is possible for hin casteism to end and Hinduism to remain, right? It is That is possible, okay? Um, that would be... A Hindu, but it would be still within Hindu beliefs. It wouldn't be within Hindu practice, right? So, for example, um, then we might have a time when there is, we still have Muslims and we still have Islam, and there is no radical violent Islamic violence. We might get to that point. Okay, does that mean that this the violence is not a fundamental part of Islam? No, it doesn't. Just because Muslims are not doing it. It doesn't mean that it's not part of Islam. It is within, like it's it's in the Quran, right? It is a fundamental part of the religion, right? Let's say there is a point we get to a point where there is no wife beating, nobody. There's no Muslim who's doing wife beating. Does that mean wife beating is not part of Islam? No. Even if not a single Muslim, even if not a single Muslim beats beats, beats his wife, because it's in the Quran, wife beating is part of Islam, right? So. Casteism, even if we get to a point when there is no caste in in the caste by society or the caste system in India, um, casteism was such as from the beginning, from the Vedic period, um, through too much later on in the you know the, in the Puranas. Like you can see it in the Vedas, you see it in the Puranas. It will always be a fundamental part of Hinduism, even if not a single Hindu practices that, right? So you could get rid of, at some point, you might be able to get rid of casteism um, while without getting rid of Hinduism. Um, and that doesn't contradict me saying that casteism is a fundamental part of Hinduism, right? Also, if you want to get rid of, given what we just said, that there are casteist caste societies outside of Hinduism, like we, we, we just mentioned, Susanna just gave you some examples. That means that if theoretically you get rid of Hinduism, that doesn't mean that casteism is over. It could be still practiced under different traditions as well. So no to, bo no to both. Yeah, I, I've this is um, a question that I've been contending with. And to help answer this question, 
I've been getting into the work of different Dalit scholars. So particularly I've been watching, um, there's a number of conversations that um, the Dalit scholar, Dr. Suraj Yangde, I think that's how you say his name, has had with Cornell West, and I'm making my way through those, in which he asks this question and posits it to Cornell West, um, who's a very famous, uh, I don't know if he's technically a theologian, but um, uh, activist, and uh, he he's at the Harvard School of Divinity, um, about if you remove casteism from Hinduism, what is left? Mm. Which I think that is an extremely interesting question to contend with. And that's something that I'm um, digging into and tackling more myself. So um, I think that's almost a more interesting question. And um, that's that's something that hopefully I can be able to bring you guys I'm, an answer about soon. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an entire stream on showing how fundamental like yeah because a lot of people try to make it seem like casteism was like not based on birth um it was added it changed later it wasn't in the vedic uh it wasn't in the vedas or anything like that i'm going to do an entire stream dedicating and going through the scripture and maybe eventually we do a stream with susanna once she does uh, research on that but like i want to on a scriptural basis i want to go and show everybody how fundamental um how big of a deal casteism is in hinduism throughout its history not just later like from the very beginning and how this it, from the beginning it was by birth like a lot of hindus try to defend it by saying like it wasn't by birth it was just like people's um it was just like a job title right before it wasn't like it, it wasn't something that was assigned to you by birth but i'm going to show you that no from the very ever since hinduism was a religion at any point i don't know when you want to decide when hinduism started started but even at any point that you could consider at any point that you had hinduism you had caste at any point that you had anything that you could call hinduism you, you had caste and i know a lot of people have an issue with calling it hinduism i'm, I'm going to address that as well okay i'm going to address the definitions of what what people consider hinduism what they don't consider hinduism why why do we use the word hinduism even though a lot of people don't like that word and yeah and then i'm going to show you if there's there's nothing like everything else about hinduism is it has been flexible like sometimes based on some definitions of Hinduism, you could consider it part of Hinduism or you could not consider it part of Hinduism. The only thing, the only thing that has always been um, part of Hinduism based on every single definition of Hinduism that you could come up with is the caste system. But go on. Well, and I get really frustrated when people talk about the origin of the word caste and how it's Portuguese, it's not even Indian, blah, blah. That's what we call it over here. You know what we're talking about. We're talking about Varna and Jati, okay? Yeah, we know. Yeah, we all like, get over yeah. yourself. We're talking yeah. about Varna and Jati. We just call it Kaz. God, damn. it's like it's it's like, they're like oh, it's not it's not even a if it's not even a Sanskrit word. Or like um, you are like it's as if somebody's saying like Armin, you're being unfair. I mean, I'm like, well, I'm Persian, and unfair is an English word, so I can't be unfair. Like that's that's <laughs> that's, that's that's the level that's the level of discord that we have here. <laughs> How could I be unfair? don't use your english words on me like what <laughs> how do you say unfair in uh, farsi um be a dalat be data monsefane i don't know yeah See? there's many okay, so words you can be that but you can't be unfair <laughs> um like look at okay. this people are saying the word like we have it warner system is not the caste system when we're talking about the caste system we're talking about the, the, this warner system. people know what we're talking about they're just trying to play with words they're just trying also, to also sneha because... was too dumb to realize when we were talking about palm reading you actually weren't attributing that to hinduism you were making an analogy so oh my god sneha you're not very smart you actually thought when i said palm reading i was saying that sneha you're not very smart you're not very smart sorry Atheist Republic needs your help. We've been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.